2011 was Pakistan's year of education. But with 25 million children not being educated, the situation appears very alarming. A government report published by the Pakistani Education Task Force reveals that the country is in the midst of an educational emergency. Over the last few decades, education has not been a priority on the political agenda, and spending on education has been very low. Consequently, the presence and quality of government schooling have deteriorated, resulting in an increase in the number of private schools. Poverty is the other main obstacle to education in Pakistan. Rising food prices and inflation have pushed many people below the poverty line, and a great number of children need to work to support their families. The Citizens Foundation, TCF, was founded in 1995 by a group of friends, all working in the private sector. Very concerned about the social and economical conditions of their country, they wanted to make a long-term contribution. To fight against violence and poverty, they saw education as the best tool to transform lives and promote lasting change in slums and poor rural areas. Mushtaq Chapra, one of the founders and currently chairman of the organization, still believes education in Pakistan remains the responsibility of the state. But where it is having difficulty coping, his schools are helping provide quality education for those who are being left out. TCF's mission is indeed to give the least privileged access to quality education by awarding scholarships and building schools in places which offer few possibilities for children to go to school. Mohammed Fayal, 16, lives in Karachi. He has two sisters and two brothers, and all five have to work to support their mother since their father passed away. Although Mohammed works very long days in a restaurant, he has not given up his education. He goes to a Citizens Foundation school in his neighborhood since he was 11. His mother enrolled him after she met the school principal during one of her visits to the local community. He says the teachers have been very supportive. They have helped him believe that nothing is impossible. Just improving his English has actually allowed him to get his present job, and he is determined to pursue his education. Studying at TCF seems to have made him a confident young man, equipped with the right tools to find a way out of poverty. Ten-year-old Radija also lives in Karachi. She too has a large family, with six brothers and three sisters. Her father works at a fishery, and the entire family helps him to make ends meet by participating in shrimp peeling. Thanks to a scholarship and the minimal financial requirements, Radija was able to attend a TCF school. Radija loves drawing and mathematics. She wants to become a mathematics teacher when she grows up. She says that the most important thing that she has learnt is to maintain hygiene and to be fair in all games. Bringing education to children from underprivileged areas. This is what characterises the model. The schools offer spacious and very well-equipped classrooms and facilities such as a library, computer lab, science lab and art room. A lot of attention is also given to the education of girls. Almost 50% of pupils are girls, which is strongly encouraged by the fact that teachers are all female. This makes families more comfortable about sending young girls to school. A specific transport service for teachers is provided to ensure security, which encourages them to work in these areas. Moreover, the model allows children from poor backgrounds to compete with their peers, educated in private schools, removing the barriers of class and privilege. Parents are asked to pay what they can afford, and the foundation relies on a large pool of Pakistani donors and local funds from individuals and corporations. Kiran joined TCF in 2006, following her graduation. Things have not been easy in the past, but she managed to pursue her education, thanks to the support of her mother and to sheer determination. Kiran says that the main obstacle to accessing quality education is the class barrier 
and discrimination on the basis of financial status or family background. Her pupils are between six and seven years old and live in very precarious conditions. Most come to school once they have finished their working day. Kiran sees education as a protection for these children against the disease or abuse that can ravage poor communities. She also believes that later in life, educated children tend to invest in improving their community. Today, over 100,000 children are being educated across a network of 730 schools across the country. The 2010 Wise Awards prize money provided scholarships for 167 pupils for the whole year, covering tuition fees, uniforms and stationary costs. In the next five years, TCF hopes to have achieved its objective of constructing and supporting 1,000 school units, reaching approximately 180,000 children. TCF is demonstrating each day that poor parents are very eager to send their children to school, particularly their daughters, if it is safe, accessible and affordable. The model has also shown that quality education can be provided in the most difficult areas. Since April 2010, there has been a major shift in Pakistani law. Education is no longer a privilege, but a constitutional right for all children. Hopefully this will encourage strong political will to build the country's future.